So, did you know that you can change the pitch of a song in Adobe Audition and it's quite easy? And it also has some extra effects you can use to make it even better. So say you have a YouTube channel in which you have Nightcore music. I personally like Nightcore music. Um, and you want to edit a song into a Nightcore. You can do that easily in Adobe Audition. So let's get into it. In Adobe Audition, go to File and then choose Open. And here you choose the song you want to edit. I'll link mine in the description below. I chose a copyright free song so I don't get flagged. Um, so always be sure that if you're using songs on YouTube to make sure that you check the copyright for that song. Now in Adobe Audition, when you edit your song, as you can hear now. This is a male voice. Um, now with the effects menu, you can choose time and pitch. You have several options. For this one, I'm going for the time and pitch and then the stretch and pitch process. It takes a bit longer than the other options you have here, uh, but in my opinion, it's worth it and you get a better result afterwards. In the stretch and pitch progress, you have lots of options you can choose from. Um, you can, well, you have the advanced where you also find the vocoder mode, preserve speech characteristics, uh, pitch coherence, form and shift. You can play around with those settings. And that's the one tip I can give you. Just play around until you find something you like. Um, for this one, if you edit the stretch when you take 100%, you can see here that your time, uh, the length of your song stays the same. When you go lower than 100%, it gets shortened. When you go higher, it gets uh, stretched. And here you can choose your semitone, so how high or low you want your pitch to go. You can also take a low pitch and then you get a very low voice. High pitch, you get a high voice, of course. Well, let's say we take five and you can listen what the result will be. You were fine all this time, I was inside out. And then when you press this green button you listen without the effect you were, you were fine all this time i was inside out so you hear it's slower uh, pitch is lower and when you listen to it with your pitch settings you were fine all this time i was inside out and I actually really like this setting with five semitones and 90%. So I'm going with this one. When you click on apply, you get an estimate like you can see right there. And depending on what it has to work with in your computer, this will take longer, go faster. Uh, yeah, you get an estimate and for now it's just waiting. So sit around patiently, wait for audition to finish. Okay, so Audition has now finished your pitch process. You can listen to it again. Okay, that part is really high in pitch. So another tip, check your song beforehand. See which parts might be really high when you edit the pitch. But for this tutorial, I will leave it like it is. Um, let's see. When you go to effects, you have some other effects you can use to make your song even better. And you can find them be under the filter and EQ. And here we're going to choose the graphic equalizer 30 bands. Now, when you click that one, you have several presets you can choose from and they also depend a bit on the song you're working with so i usually like to go with the lead vocal presence and clarity so i'm going to turn it off first so you can hear and then when you listen with there should be a slight difference um, sometimes it's really subtle but it also well it makes it better it, it adds to the song Back 
as I said, it's subtle. You really have to listen. Um, but in the background, something changes, which adds to the quality of your song, in my opinion. So when you're happy with that, um, you can also lower the volume, by the way. So if you want your song to be a bit less loud, you can say, for example, minus two decibels. And then you press apply. And now you see the bands have shortened and you applied the effect. Now, in that same window, I'm going to choose for the bass clarity. Let's listen to the song without. And Again, really subtle change in the bass, but it really adds to the, um, the eventual song, the end song, I must say. So click apply. And then um, let's see, I usually use those two and depending on the song, I also might use the keyboards bright and clear or the kick legs boxy more attack. Um, you can also listen what it does. But I don't think that one is necessary in this song. Let's check the keyboards. Yes, I think that one is uh, quite a good one to use in this song. So then you click apply. Now, again, my tip being play around in audition. Check what you want to add, what you think will be good for your song. Um, this is a basic template you can use. And depending on the song you're using, you might add more or less, change it around, make it your own. But that was it uh, for this tutorial, how to change the pitch and add some extras in Adobe Audition. So be sure to like this video if you liked it. And if you're not subscribed already and you want to see more, I would like it if you press that subscribe button with a little bell icon. And then I hope to see you in the next one. Have a nice day.